My name is Vyot Swako, and we're here with Mr. Hazen Kam for an interview of sorts. We're going to start this off with just a quick fire round to get to know Sir just a little better. Thank you for joining us, sir. Thanks, Vyot. It's good to be here. All right. Favorite color? Blue. Pizza or pasta? Always pizza. Wood or charcoal? After being in the Western Cape, only wood. <laughs> Bush or sea? Tough call, but sea. Favorite rugby team? The Kangas. Favorite movie? Saving Private Ryan. Best music album of all time? Album. Yes, sir. Pink Floyd The Wall. Favorite book? Jim Collins from Good to Great. Favorite quote? I think it was Mark Twain who said, What is an education? An education is everything you remember once you've forgotten all that you were taught. Are you a Ford or a Toyota man? Only Ford. Dream holiday destination. Well, I think the dream holiday is a backpacking trip through Europe with my family. S band or suicide? S band. Piano or cello? Piano. Candies or candy straps? Candies. Favorite football team? Locally, Orlando Pirates, the Buccaneers, Premier League, Tottenham Hotspur. Thank you so much for that, sir. Now that we've broken the ice, we're going to move into something that's a little bit more discussion-based. If you weren't a teacher, sir, what do you think you'd be doing for a living? I think there was a chance I may have landed up becoming a pilot. Um, I applied to go to the Air Force after school. I ended up studying teaching instead. But I think if I landed up going to the Air Force, there's a chance I could have become a pilot. What was your inspiration to become a pilot? I had an uncle that had a lot to do with while I was growing up. He was a pilot and I'm sure that had a lot to do with it. Uh, your favorite schoolboy memory? One of the things that I remember with interest was probably Mr. Dory's Afrikaans classes. Mr. Dory was a teacher who taught here for many years. He taught in room, room number one and um, there were some interesting lessons, Afrikaans lessons with Mr. Dory. Are there any specific life lessons you learned from Mr. Dory? I don't know about life lessons. There are a couple of incidents I remember with Mr. Dory. Mr. Dory had this fetish for boys whose watches would beep on the hour, as they used to, as they do. And on one occasion, a boy's watch went off. He asked who that boy was and whose watch it was. He got the watch, threw it against the wall, smashed it to a thousand pieces and the next day you arrived with a box of ball ones and that pretty much settled the problem from the previous day. Yeah. Okay. What is the naughtiest thing you did while at school? We're going to pass on that question. Okay, fair enough. Do you have a favorite story about any teacher while, um, while you were in school? There was a teacher that we had at school who's story became quite legendary. What happened was he was walking up S Bend one day and one of our friends was driving down S Bend. He stopped the boy in the car. He said to him, good morning my boy. He said, um, you shouldn't be driving on the property. Do you have a, a license? He said, yes, I've got a license. He handed him his driver's license. Mr. Van Rooyen, his name was Casper Van Rooyen. He was quite a conservative Afrikaans teacher. He looked at the license and he said, my boy, this license says that you should be wearing spectacles, to which the boy said, yes, that's right, sir, but I have contacts. To which Caspar van Rooyen replied, I don't care who you know. <laughs> and that became a, a well-known story amongst the boys in the school. Yeah, no, I can imagine. Um, rumor has it that um, you have a nickname, sir. That nickname is Rackety. What's the story behind that? I'm not sure who you've been speaking to, but I probably need to have a discussion with them. That nickname comes, as many nicknames come with boys who arrive at Victoria Boys High School, many boys get nicknames and mine was given to me, if I remember correctly, by a Form 3 at the time, I was in Form 1 in Solomon House, Mark Malan, and he thought I looked like the character from the Rupert the Bear show called Rackety. And if you want to know what Rackety looks like, you can go and have a look at Rupert the Bear. And did that nickname stick with you for the whole of high school? It stuck for the whole of high school. In fact, at one stage, I think there were teachers, in fact, who didn't know my real name, but they knew me as Rackety. 
Would you consider increasing the population of Dacre on the property? I haven't seen a Dacre on the property yet. I've seen evidence of the Dacre when I walk along the, or around the property. Um, so yes, I would consider increasing the population. Have you caught any borders in your pool since you moved in? Not yet. Not yet. I'm sure there's plenty of stories from back in high school when borders would get caught in the headmaster's pool. I think there are a few stories. I hope I don't have to go through any of them. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> you delivered some beautiful Afrikaans addresses in your time at Hermanus High School. Has the transition from dual medium to English been difficult for you? Is Skyfan double medium na Engels too? Is it really like me? Is it not a thing? Is it difficult for me? Is it Engels? Is it really for an unpassing? By the school in Hermanus, as you said, it was double medium. So by Engels and Afrikaans, I thought that the move back to English has has been easy. How about the move from English to Afrikaans from moving to Hermanus? Going down to Hermanus, that was certainly an adjustment. I think over the years in Hermanus, my Afrikaans improved and my vocabulary certainly increased. It's good to hear. Rumor has it that there's a chance you could be dethroning Mr. Oldmore at next year's Intel's Cross Country. How do you feel about that? No, I think Mr. Oldmore's probably got 10 or 15 years on me. Um, I'd love to take him on, but I'd be foolish. He can keep the he can keep the title. Thank you. But it seems like there's also a rival a rivalry with Mr. Smuts, seeing as you both started here. Well, Mr. Smuts and I did start together teaching here in 1999, and we did two comrades marathons together. We did two two oceans marathons together, and many marathons in between. Um, but I think now we'll be good competition for, for one another, slow and steady. Who do you think is going to win that round? I think I've still got one on top of Mr. Smith. Right. What is the tradition you most missed while in Harmonies and that you most enjoy now? I think in the short time I've been back, it would have to be the last post and the chiming of the school bells. Why those specific traditions? It's not only the music, it's not only the chime of the bells, I think it's also the fact that the boys stop, it's the respect that they offer in line with the last post and why it's sung. And I think it's something that's particularly unique to Pretoria Boys High School, which makes it so special. Thank you so much for joining us. Sir. Thank you, Rio. It's good to chat. <laughs>